Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here with more Let's Play Shining Force 3 Scenario 1! Things we have done. We have rearranged items to give everyone items. Um, I bought a Talisman Rod for Master which gives her Freeze. She, she has Blaze Level 3 and Freeze Level 3, which means she's actually higher up than Noon on the Freeze ladder, isn't she? Yeah, that's sad. Uh, we also gave her the Volcano Wand, even though that's not hers, it gives her the, the Phoenix Summon spell. So if we equip it... She now has... Summon Phoenix. And I gave her that so that she can... You uh, summon. She has a summon spell, which is a great single target spell for the MP, and she has a natural fire affinity. Her fire stat is rather well, so we're gonna leave her with that. Uh, I used the uh, quick chicken on Symbios to raise his agility to 27, so he has the same agility as Don Terry's now. A little behind Mascarin. Um, I should have used it, I was thinking about using it on Obright, but Obright and Horst have the same agility, so I can leave them at that. Uh, Hagen is actually a decent agility, and ninjas level up agility rather well, so I'm not too worried about that. I did, however, use the health bread on Hagen because he had lower HP than Noon. And I know he's several levels behind at this point, but... That's That was just dangerously low. And the fact that his defense really isn't anything to speak of either... Th these are bad things. So... Those are the, the major changes that have been made. And now we have another battle. While we rush to look over, the Empire landed from Barisol. We don't have any... So, Empire is trying to invade! Oh my god! The enemy is waiting for us here. In fact, this is the battlefield. So we've got to hurry up, but we've got to be careful while hurrying up because it's a trap. Where's Admiral Akbar when we need him? I'm not really worried about this fight. I'm... I'm still above par where I'm supposed to be, and if a gain is any indication, I should probably be level 7, 8-ish, and I'm level 9, 10-ish. Alright, um, we want to send Eldar over here, because this is where her best weapon is hidden, and we, we want that. We want that shit badly. Alright, um... Khan, you're not gonna go anywhere. You are gonna cast... Support... So that Hagen isn't useless in this fight. Because I get the feeling he's going to be kinda useless. But we need to keep him leveled. Alright, where... Is there a boss? Are you a boss? No. So this is just a bunch of fodder that's in the way. Well, so be it. And why the hell not? Yeah, why the hell not? Not like it's going to hurt anything. Start off the fight with a good, uh... Good boost? I do miss that it's not boost. Boost was broken as a spell. Support's not nearly as broken. And as you can tell, I'm honestly not really all that worried about positioning, like Palsa said. 
I'm just gonna move my people forward and beat the crap out of anything that gets in my way. Ninjas are unaffected by movement. By the terrain effect. I believe they are unaffected by it at all. So... Fun times can be had. I'm not going to put him in the front, because that's just suicide for level 6. I will, however, let him beat up on a Hellhound. Because I can probably attack the Hellhound with someone who won't kill him in one hit, and then have him kill it. That's what I'm going to have to do to level. I just need to keep him leveled through one particular fight that's coming up. This will kill the Hellhound. Oh! Didn't. Well. Again now has a target. Gross use of MP, but... Um, when to go. Why not? I do miss that there's not a dedicated summoner. Oh, damn. That was overkill. There, that there's not a dedicated summoner class in Shining Force 3 like there was in Shining Force 2. I'm a little disappointed by this fact. And Dontarius wanted to make his presence known. And... Damn it. I knew there was something to this fight. Poison Worm. Okay, that's foreshadowing as well. There is a boss to this fight. It's the Poison Worm Queen. She will pop up shortly. You are dead. And hopefully you'll keep getting XP like that and level up quickly. Alright. Yeah, there's a Poison Worm Queen, which is going to be a bitch to fight. The Poison Worms themselves are going to poison quite often. The Sting Worms, excuse me. They call them Poison Worms in the dialogue, why can't they use the same name? Probably should have kept some of those uh, antidote herbs on everyone, shouldn't I? That's just stupid, isn't it? Because what's what is your movement? Yeah, if I can attack him, he can move into range. But this will also be the perfect fight to play with AoE spells. And as long as I keep people lined up like that, I can't get ganged up on. Which is actually a, a decent concern at the moment. Because too many of those worms get close, and that's going to be a painful end for several members of our force. And they're gonna move forward one step at a time just to piss me off. Oh, 
Oh, it's totally worth it, but... Yeah, it's totally worth it. Because I've got enough gold to where if it breaks, I can fix it without any problems. I just want to do some damage to all these things so that I can kill them quickly. Yep, Art, Art Halberd cracks. I can't use it again. Spin. You use that now when you're at full health. And you could have one-shotted him with that. Really? Kill the Masquerin! End all that stand before you. Just imagine what her spark level 3 is going to be like. And the harpy's gonna die. And I was hoping the harpy was gonna die. I was gonna getting a little concerned there for a second when I saw ice arrow. Damn it, that may not do it. I don't think you can do 23 points of damage. No. Not quite. And of course the terrain is making it impossible to pass. And I hate to be a ki kill stealer, but I'm worried it's going to kill her game. Seventeen damage. At this point, it really doesn't matter what spear you're using, unless you've leveled up spear to any degree. You're going to do shit for damage with it. All right, they're going to keep moving forward. I can attack you, and I will. Twister! And not kill you, which is a little disappointing. Oh, you are the worst kind of asshole. Can you tell that I've been playing for a while because I'm getting quite belligerent at the game for trying to sneak attack me? Alright, um... Go ahead and attack it. Prepare to die. Kill it, because it's dead. Oh, it's not! Well, Hagane can try to kill it then, can't he? And Hayward's level 10. Fantastic. Hayward can't get over there to kill it. Noon can kill it. More worms appeared over here, didn't they? Uh, you sorry sons of bitches! I can kill you. Level 7! Not too far behind. Oh, damn it. Alright, we've spawned the boss.
It possesses the strength of a dragon, and it summons more worms. Don't. Okay, that's fine. I'll have to send Hayward over to kill it. And she kills it with a counterattack! Hot damn masquerade! Not what I was expecting, but a welcome surprise. Those worms are just gonna keep spawning, aren't they? Yeah, they're just gonna keep spawning. Shit. Maskerin's gonna take way too much damage in this fight. That won't heal her completely. Oh, hot damn it will. That's kind of impressive that heal one will do that. Alright, we're just gonna come over here, inspect that section, and you find the zero way. Alright, I'm just gonna keep doing this. I, it works. And then once she runs out of MP, I'm probably going to just plant her heavy little butt on one of those spawn points so they stop spawning. Huh? Zah? The hell was that? Sounded like it said something. Terry's is level 11. Really? I'll get her over here so she can heal. And there's no way I can reach the harpy. That won't kill them either, will it? Spirits, help me. Because you won't do 24 points of damage. Nope. But hey, you've got the freeze level 3. And you learned a special. What special did you learn? Soul Blast. Hey, they drop antidote herbs, that's good to know. Oh, you son of a bitch. Alright, I need to send people in quickly. Alright, that's not good on any level. Alright. What I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna aggress out of this fight, and I think I'm gonna power level in this fight, because this fight's gonna suck. In fact, I'm positive I'm gonna power level in this fight. Because they're gonna do shit like that. Yeah, they're gonna do shit like that. Yeah, I'm gonna spend some time in this fight. Because they're just gonna poison all of my people, apparently. Except for Symbios, who can't be poisoned. It 
See, they only- they're not regular attacking random people. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm at 20 minutes now. We'll wait till we get to Symbios' next turn. Kill you, because they're just gonna keep spawning. And I didn't actually, you know, think to just go straight down the center. What the hell are you doing? Oh! Well, thank you! And dropped an angel's wing. Fantastic. Too bad I can't use it to actually leave. Not that Don Terry's need to kill. Because he's way higher level than anyone else at the moment. 15 points of damage. Christ. Since he won't get another turn before I aggress, this at least protect him from getting hit again and dying. And Hayward's taking names. I'm gonna see if any of the worms respawn. Because they don't seem to be respawning at the moment. If they respawn again... Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead end this Come, when, to go. when uh, I can get to Symbios' turn to aggress and then just go straight down the middle ignoring pretty much everything at this point. Because this stuff just needs to die. Yep, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next installment in which I will, well, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll power level in this fight some, because this is this is kind of rough at the current level I'm at. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.